Hello everybody, and welcome back to Riverside 22. You may be wondering why there's no background music, or audio, game audio should I say? Because I basically was sitting here recording this for roughly 40 minutes, and realised no game audio was coming through on OBS, nor was my microphone. It was picking up no audio. Um, I think it was something to do with, I'd done a fresh install on Windows like two days ago and I haven't actually been on the PC since I'd done the fresh install of Windows and basically yeah I must have reset all uh, settings because I know it's playing this I had to reset when I'm going to edit I had to reset my mic and stuff to do this voiceover and um, I had to like pick my microphone as a uh, input and stuff like that so yeah basically 40 minutes gone down the drain but I'm going to leave it in what I'll do is time lapse the whole 40 minutes in one big long time lapse and then I do realise halfway through the video and you'll hear me talk and then the rest of the video will be as normal. So yeah, <laughs> sorry about this, I did not obviously mean it. But nonetheless, all the gameplay is here, we feed the cows, do baling and do a bit of cultivating and yeah, I hope you guys enjoy and if you like Farming Simulator, make sure you hit like, make sure you hit subscribe, make sure you stick around, leave a comment and check out my roleplay, it will be in the top right hand corner and also check out my Aghali realistic playthrough it's an early access map I got access by the map maker so definitely check that out on my channel if you like Farming Simulator and obviously we will be going straight into FS25 when that's released too so if you want that sort of stuff hit like, hit subscribe, it really helps me out and I will see you guys well in a few minutes you will see me or you will hear me talking again but i'll see you guys in the next episode of fs22 thanks for watching again and goodbye
we have the bales in. I know I said I wasn't going to do it, but there was eight of them, and I said I was thinking of doing them like that in fours, so it would speed it up. Now, I did notice a little issue. You guys will have already noticed it, because I will probably mention it in the editing. But I did do a fresh install of Windows on my PC over the last day or two. Uh, two days ago, actually, and I haven't been on it really since. So everything's set back to default, uh, as I'm sure you're guessing. You know where this is going. Yeah, OBS didn't pick up any of my audio or the game's audio for the last 40 minutes of me recording. Literally been recording 41 minutes now. So, yeah, the last 40 minutes of me talking and blabbering and doing the silage and getting the mineral feed and putting up the manure over there and stuff. Yeah, I'm sure you all probably would have seen what the crack was through the little... I'm going to make a quick time lapse of the whole 40 minutes. It's going to be one long time lapse up until now, and then I'm going to cut it obviously when I'm starting to talk, because it is actually reading now. Um, Yeah, I don't know, I had a water bottle sitting down in front of my screen, and it's a very tall one, but it's on like the lower part of my desk. But it was covering exactly where the mixer is on OBS on my second monitor, to see the bars going up and down for the audio. Yeah, and i never seen it. I don't know how I copped it. I was just driving literally in from the field with the fent and the baler, and when I was coming around this corner... I literally copped it. I wasn't picking up audio, so... Yeah, unfortunate, I know, but look, the work is still done. I can't... I don't want to undo it, so I will do a time-lapse up until now when I'm starting to talk. So I will mention this in editing. I will put it at the start of the video, obviously. So, yeah, anyway. Basically, what I was trying to say at the start of the episode was my plans were to give silage to them, which we did do. We got mineral fee because we've run out. We are keeping the straw off the sorghum field from there because they use quite a lot of straw for their manure. I didn't see any manure spawning, so that's why I put down the manure pit. I gave myself the money for the pit because I believe that the manure should spawn in the pen, the cow pen, if you don't have a manure pit. I just think it shouldn't be something I have to pay for. It should be just either in there or if there's a pit separate, fine. But I don't think I should have to pay for it, so I did give myself the money for that, so that's there. Then we are going to do a bit of cultivating with the, cl with the case uh, cultivator. So we're going to do two fields real quick. I was checking up on the grain. We can sell our sorghum, our oats and our barley, I believe it is. Our wheat, our oats and our sorghum are all good to go in January. So we can do that in the next episode when we skip into January. So yeah, pretty much that's all I was saying. So without further ado, we're going to get into the John Deere. Or the uh, Massey. I don't know why I said John Deere. We don't even have a John Deere on this playthrough. Unhitch the trailer. I will put my chains back on the front of this. Do we have any straw left in that? No, we don't. Yeah, so... If you wonder why the straw thing is just abandoned there, that's actually where the trigger is. So, um, yeah. So we'll spin around. We'll put my chain back on the front. I want it to look good for a... On them. And... We'll go down and grab the case cultivator and... Will we put the case tractor on it? Yeah, I think we'll put the case on it. I think a case on a case will just... Look a little bit better for the thumbnail as well. Anywho. I'll go and grab it. I'll put away this straw blower. Probably just actually put beside the flatbed. Because we need to put in more sheds. Because our sheds are full. And we don't actually have any sheds for bales. I do have them over there beside the cultivator. So... We could do a little shed storage space and another bit of a shed for uh, a few of these implements that are still being left out. So. Yeah, so the plan with the manure is to go into the greenhouses and probably sell the rest. Because we, I'm not going to go spreading manure on these huge fields because you'll just be drawn all day back and forth. Then, the plan for the slurry is to turn it into solid fertilizer and use it or sell the solid fertilizer that is my plan but well, i will go into more depth in that later on how you can actually do that so i'm going to go to a field that we haven't actually worked on since the first episode it's the one just across the road here you can see it on the hill this is the one we're going to tackle actually i'm just hoping this cultivator or this tractor has enough power for this cultivator pretty sure it has 285 and our cultivator Perfect. Absolutely great. We do have the big case thing on the front. Bumper. 
So yeah, let's get in and we'll start up this cultivating. We really need to get this done before the spring because we, yeah, we obviously want to get drilling as soon as we can. As soon as it's able, as soon as we're able to drill, we need to start drilling because we have a lot of grass work to do. We do have two fields of grass now because we did drill a field of grass. We do have a canola field that's actually still growing down there. So yeah, that needs to be obviously harvested. When? I don't know. Not till, whoa, not till, it can only take nearly a full year to grow. So in August, October, and you harvest it in July, it only takes a full year, wow. Obviously you can do spring barley and spring wheat and spring oats. Do them kind of early in the year, which is good. So that's what we'll be doing, is some of these, probably, maybe even a bit of corn, maybe. Um, some soybeans, maybe. Yeah. Anyway, that's later on, so. Off our beacon. Let's drop this and let's get cracking. We'll do this field and maybe the small sorghum field. I think it will be empty. We do have that sunflower field, field 74 in front of us. If anyone is wondering why the straw swats are in it, that was a sunflower field. We harvested it and it's dropped us straw, which is pretty stupid. It is the mod I have on the extra straw. Uh, mod thing that gives you straw from like canola and stuff which is good because obviously you can get straw from canola in real life I'm pretty sure you can't get straw from sunflowers so we are going to leave that we're not going to take advantage of that that's just a bit silly so we are just going to cultivate that into the ground I don't believe it's necessary to get straw from sunflowers I don't think it's possible so we definitely won't we won't take that much advantage of that mod we won't go too unrealistic but anyway We'll start cracking in at this. We'll get this field done and we'll get that small sorghum field done that we just bailed. And yeah, we obviously have more to do. So we've all winter to do it. This is December. So it's kind of good to leave this sort of work for the winter. Because if you just drill straight with the direct drill. I know I think our drill actually is a direct drill. But I know if you just drill with a direct drill in the other months like October and that's September, October after you harvest straight away. You've nothing to do all winter, so it's kind of is good to leave a little bit of cultivation work for now. We probably won't cultivate every field, but it will just give us some chores to do through the winter. Not to make it drag too much. And just so that we're not skipping straight through all the winter. That we're not going from like November to like March. So that's not right either. Anyway, I'm going to stop talking. Even though I haven't been really talking for the first half of this episode because my... OBS didn't pick up audio, but we crack on with another time lapse. This one won't be as long, obviously, it won't be half the video. But yeah, we'll get this field done and we'll get the sorghum field done, and we'll wrap it up with that.
Here we are now, the last strip. Those two fields done, which is nice. If the cows topped up with food, start constantly getting more food, which is also very, very good and very important. Because we need their milk, we need their manure, and their slurry. So that's good to have them all topped up. And we also got extra straw bales to have so we can make manure, which is also on a plus. And yeah, so and we actually got the manure pit down, which is obviously really useful. Us, we obviously can't get the manure without it. So yeah, that's that field done, and that's the other big huge field done. So we're going good. I can turn off our work lights on the road and just turn on the road lights. And yeah, we can put this up because we'll probably cultivate that field next, along with sunflower on. Although we probably might set off workers on those because it would be January and we could set workers off on course play on them and we could hook the Massey up to that trailer and start selling our grain. Which will bring in a lot of money. Hopefully. Which means we might be able to get some sheep. Although we've no grass. So yeah, maybe we should leave the sheep till spring. Till we do our cuts of grass on our fields of grass, obviously. So we have two grass fields now. We do have field five. We have field 28, I believe, is our grass field. And also I drill 30 as a grass field. So we're going to have to try and get two or three cuts off this throughout the year next year. In game. So as soon as it's available to be harvested, all of these in early spring, we're going to have to get a cut. We're going to have to get fertilized. We're going to have to get them regrown. And as soon as they take back to being ready to be harvested we're going to have to get the moors out and do them again because if we're going to be feeding sheep and cows we're going to need silage we're going to need hay we're going to need grass or hay for the sheep so yeah we're going to need a hell of a lot so i am thinking of maybe doing corn and leasing out a forage harvester and doing maize silage for the pit just be handy for we could save the grass then for hay and then get the silage off the off a field of corn anyway I'm going to leave the episode here. I hope you guys enjoyed. I do apologise about the start. I realise I wasn't recording any audio. It's frustrating on my end as much as it probably is on your end, if not more. But anyway, I will turn, like I said, the whole first half or whatever length of time into a big long time lapse. And then the rest of the video when I realise we'll all be as normal with just time lapses and talking. So anyway, I'm going to leave it here. If you enjoyed, please hit like, please hit subscribe. And don't be afraid to leave a comment of any suggestions. And I will see you guys in the next episode of Riverside 22. Goodbye.